Hello YouTube, Wild Pete back again, on the trail, heading down to the lakeside camp. It's been raining on and off the day, it's dry at the moment, there's supposed to be a storm front coming in tonight, wind's supposed to pick up, heavy rains. But, the rucksack's on the back, and I'm heading out for an overnighter. Got some nice food in the bag here. Bag's fully loaded. Where's a bloody turn? I'm glad these uh, Bergens can take the weight, put it that way. See what wildlife up and see. <coughs> Brought a trail camera with us today. Gonna get that set up. See what we'll catch through the night. Like I say, you've already seen on previous videos. As deer comes through here, birds of prey. Supposed to be a family of otters in the uh, lake at the moment. Landowner's not very happy because he's eating all his fish. We'll see if we can catch them on camera. It's going to be dark in only a few hours' time. What time is it? Four o'clock. It'll be pitch black in three hours time. I would set up my shelter, get my fire going, ready for cooking. I'll get back to you once I'm up the PS camp. See you shortly. Sulu, majestic swan gliding across the lake. Not a care in the world. I was hoping there was going to be some Canadian geese on, but not yet. Maybe I haven't quite gotten here yet. That's it, it's arrived at base camp. Exactly the way I left it. Table still standing. Ruin still standing, fire pits ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna get set up, get the fire on, get my tea cooked. I'm gonna try a little bit different this time for setting up. Like I say, storm fronts coming in, gonna be windy and rainy. So have a bit of experiment. I'll find out if it works because otherwise I'll be getting wet if it's wrong. But hopefully if it works, it'll be a much better living space. I'm going to get myself started. And I'll give you a quick tour once it's stood. See you shortly. I don't know if you can quite see that or not. What I've got is a double ridge line. I've cut some three stakes the same length, notched it out so it sits nicely in the. That looks like notched it out so it sits nice in the rope, in the paracord. What I'm hoping is it's going to cause sort of make a bit of a roof line give me more head space for walking around in so I don't get a bad back 
but only time will tell. I'll get the tarp strung up. We'll see what it looks like after that. There you go, people. There's a quick tour. There's my little table there. The rucksack. Bergen. That's my ground sheet to keep my socks uh, all nice and clean. Right, this roof structure. We've got a stick there. We've got the two. Lengths of paracord running through. Stick at either end. Stick in the middle. Give it support. Means I've got enough headroom to walk around in when I'm next to me hammock. If I can keep the top quite lower, keep the elements out. There's the hammock set up there. Under blanket on. Sleeping bag already in, fluffing up, ready for the night. Keep us nice and warm. All my little stuff sacks I use for tarps and hammocks go into that dry sack and just gets hung on a guy line overnight I keep it nice and dry. I've got my old man's soft arse pad. Keep your bum nice and comfortable for the night. I'm gonna get that lit. Bird down and ready to cook me tea. So I'm off hunting for firewood now. I'll see you shortly. So back again. It's about ten to six. It's gonna be dark in about half an hour, forty minutes. The fire's on, stocked up. Kettles on, ready for a brew. I got some uh, spare ribs for me tea the night. And this has bought us some sweeties and all. So I get them down my neck. Collecting the firewood, I'm gonna have to go and get some more though. Wind's picking up, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if it's interfering with the. Uh, sound and I'll find that out until I come and do the editing but joyous joyous that fire's pumping off some heat the old base camp thrown is getting some abuse especially with the old man uh, arse pad on Keep me both nice and warm and it's nice and soft. So, a Saturday in the life of Wild Pete. This is pretty much every Saturday. You get up at silly o'clock in the morning when everyone else is a bed and you should be a bed as well. Stumble around in the dark trying not to wake up wife and kids. Get yourself ready for work. Drive to work at silly o'clock in the morning. This is a Saturday, remember? Put an eight hour shift in and go home. Come on, Royal Mail. Who the hell needs bills on a Saturday? Monday to Friday, spot on. But never mind. You've got to do that five days a week. Just to pay the bills. Put food on the table. Pay for the petrol for your car. So you can drive to work to make money. To pay for more petrol for the car. So you can drive to work some more. To make more money. 
bring on the apocalypse. Send her back to the Iron Age. Come on, Iron Age. Plus, of course, all these numpties that die in the Iron Age. You know what I mean? Folks who have servants to tie the shoelaces and wipe their ass, you know? <laughs> I'm just ranting, didn't worry about it. I have great respect for them people who have someone to tie their shoelaces and wipe their ass. I wish I had that much money. I know quite a few people I wouldn't mind uh, tying my shoelaces and wipe my ass. Quite a list. You know who you are. Right, enough talking. Fire's nearly done. I'm going to get the rack under the tree. My little hidey hole. Get it put onto the flames there and get it sanitised. And then put me other rack in the rack to get it cooked. If that makes sense. So I'll switch this off. And when the eating is ready, I'll switch this back on again. And you can watch us eat the ribs. Lovely juice dribbling do me chin. Am I that cruel? Certainly am. Right, back shortly. There you go. There's my pan stand. Comes through the fire deflector. Got my pan on the go there for my copper. And across at the back there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Smothered in flames, there you go. The old racks on the go there. Being humanely sanitised. Not be much longer before that fire's in a nice height for cooking. Yeah, yeah, that nice full rack of ribs, roasted up and eaten. Actually, we've got a pokey stick in the face, see if my cattle's boiled. There you go, kettle boiled. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, look, there you go. Giaz, big yaz. I want to a bit cup of soup in a minute, I can see inside without spilling all over the place. No. Chicken cup of soup in the old Thormus. Just ready for warming the cockles. Starting to get dark. What time is it? Just after six. Another half hour or so, pitch black. from head to tour. So I've gone care mild style tonight. No vegetables, no rice, no pasta. Just a rack of ribs. Drenched in barbecue sauce. Ten fifteen more minutes before that fire's burned, doing enough for this rack. Twenty minutes, half an hour to cook it. Thirty seconds to eat it. There will be me with a big smile on my face, satisfied. So I'm going to be out of action for a couple of weeks. No episodes, I'm afraid. If 
peasant. Our next camp will be at the Woodland BS camp. I've still got a couple of walls to build up on there. Camouflage that bloody big blue tarp. Build a proper fire pit. We're in October now. But it is livable, I'll give it that. Fire pit's one of the last things on the list. As long as I get them walls up, it'll keep the elements off. That's what I need, keep the elements off. You know, there's crazy folks in this world. That'll be sitting in a nice warm house. On a nice, soft recliner couch. Watching the Google box. Melting their brain. And you could be here. Outside. Facing the elements, wildlife strolling through your campsite. Had a kestrel come through earlier. <coughs> I was about two foot off the ground. Shot past like a rocket. Got a pheasant just over there. Say about 20 yards away. Sneaking through the grass, pretending I haven't seen him. If I had a gun, you'd be Sunday dinner. <sighs> right, so a couple of more weeks. And we're looking like uh, winter's kicking in. So there'll be woolly hat and thermals. But we'll still be out here because we love it. If I stop tracking, you can hear the peace and quiet. Wind blowing through the trees. Leaves dropping out the trees. Cows in the field behind us. Sheeps in the field in front of us. It was a bit scary I was here last time. Strange noises in the woodlands at night time. A little pit a patter of feet it sounded like. But it wasn't, it was just nature. The nice big oak tree just up behind us there. The oak nuts were falling out the tree. <laughs> you can still hear them every once in a while. But they were quite a loud thud when they hit the deck. Sanitize rock. Almost ready, almost ready. So, what do you do on a Saturday night? Out socializing? In, eating pizza, no better than a cup of soup and a rat of ribs. Scary things in the woods at night.
Mind you, the reckon being alone makes you kind of a bit loopy. Kind of cheap yourself. Right, so I'm going to knock you off. Get me ribs sorted. And I'll see you later. Just keep my subs nearly done. You still here? Tell you, man, I'm gonna knock you off. Get me ribs done. Gonna scoop us up, so almost finished. I'll see you later. Back again. Ribs is on. Cooking. Told you it was gonna get dark. Right. Twenty past six. Another ten minutes will be pitch black. That I set up a uh, lights for camera. Otherwise, I did see it was a black screen. There's some strange talking going on. <coughs> so come up to the woodland. It's a little bit brighter, but not much. You can see behind us the dull grey skies behind us. What oh, ribs? Keep on rotating. Make sure they're cooked through. Now, oh, fairness is no better. Aldi special. I had about two pound ninety-five pence for a full rat of barbecue ribs. They've already been slow cooked, so basically you're just heating them through. Below now. Starting to spit out a bit of rain. Camera equipment's not waterproof, so we'll let it take you under the top. Knee top above uh, the throat. So I'll have to dive into me pit, eat me ribs. Ribs. One of these days I'll forget to switch your head torch off and blind you all. <laughs> but they're looking good. When they're cooked I'll give you a preview. I'll give you a before and after. Before I eat them and after I eat them. Right, I think that's enough for me jabbering on. I'm gonna knock you off. Concentrate on cooking me tea, so I don't burn it. And I'll see you when I'm tucking in. So there you go, people. As promised, one rack of ribs, cooked to perfection. I'll slap some barbecue sauce on and get that down my neck. You'll not want to watch us eat it, so I'll not put you through that torment. So I'll see you after me tea. Morning everybody. Well, the storm kicked in about half past eight, nine o'clock last night. High winds, rain. I uh, adjusted the tarp accordingly. Which I'll give you a show in a minute. Even though I still had a crack of night's sleep, snug as a bug in a rug, bone dry. 
hear the wind whistling through the trees, leaves and branches falling out of the trees. Just check the trail camera, didn't catch anything last night. I'm pretty positive there was some deer wandering around early hours of this morning, about half past five. But they mustn't have crossed in front of the camera. Fire's on, kettle's on, ready for a brew. Just heating the water up. Life's good. That wind last night's blown all the storm away. So if I walk out of the woodland, it's actually sunny skies out there. It's still a bit breezy. <coughs> New thermometer. Yep, 13 degrees, 96% humidity. Balmy 13 degrees. People travel hours and hours on aeroplanes to get to hot countries. There's us sitting, middle of October, balmy 13 degrees. Hat in the coats, not to keep us warm, just to make us look good, by the way. With this heat, who needs hat and coats? Right, I'll drop you off the tripod. I'll give you a quick tour of what I did before I set it back up again. Hi, so I can get some work done. It's basically breakfast. It's a nice hot cup of. I've got some trial mix. I've got some porridge, but I'm not going to bother. I'll just get stuck into the trail mix. Get packed up and get home. Half wild Sam's been on the phone. He wants fishing. So, like I say, I'll show you the setup for when it was stormy and rainy last night before I raise it back up. That's the setup for last night when the storms hit. <clears throat> All I did is pop the guy ropes off and pinned it down to the floor. It took us about 30 seconds to a minute. Kept the rain off us, <clears throat> kept the winds off us. It's like a little tarp tunnel. I'm going to get it lifted up, <coughs> ready for the graft, pack a big gear away, there you go, quick and easy, guy ropes are still left on the trees, when I had it set up last night, it was basically a case of clipping the ground anchors off and clipping it up, five seconds, now I can quite comfortably walk underneath it and get my stuff packed away. There's the front. Da, da, da. Well that's it people. Another overnight I've finished. I'm all packed up. Ready to rock and roll. Hit the trail. Head back to the car. Clean and tidy. Just the way you want it. The fire's almost out. Just one or two little red embers lying in the bottom there. Five more minutes wait for them to burn out. And then off we go. And I'll see you on the trail. Tits on the trail. <coughs> Almost back to the car. I hope you enjoyed this video.
If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next episode of Wild Pete's Adventures. Bye for now.